Hey there, happy Monday to you. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Today I want to share a couple of things or insights that I've had through reflection about how I want to improve productivity. I think it might be able to help you as well. You see, last week I had, it was a fantastic week actually, but I'm one of those guys that really thrive on routine. I love having a disciplined routine. It helps me thrive, it helps me be happier, it helps me feel better. And when I break routine, I really struggle with that. I am getting better at it, but it still really makes me struggle. But last week, anyway, I went to this conference. It was a two-day conference, fantastic conference. Got a lot of learnings and takeaways. Had Anzac Day thrown in the mix, and again, another great day. Went on a big hike. And so my whole week was thrown out of whack. But I look back at the week, and look how much I really enjoyed the week, how much I appreciate it, and how much I actually still did achieve. Even though three days were taken away which I'd normally spend, you know, in my business working. And it made me really think over the weekend, and then this morning as well, I've done a bit of reflection on this. Why do we jam-pack our day and jam-pack our week with so much stuff? That's my way of doing things generally anyway, not everyone's way. But you might relate to that. You might be one of those people that write this big list of things that you want to do, and you put all this stress and pressure on yourself to do it, and that pressure builds over time. If you don't have good tools and practices and ways to find balance, and that's one of my big goals this year, then you might struggle. And what I thought when I looked back at last week is I thought, how can I apply that to my day today? And how can I apply that to my week this week? And I thought, what if there's just three things, three things we could do today in our personal life, uh, in our work life, that would help us really feel like we've achieved a lot, but still had a good level of a balance so we can sustain that level of activity going forward. Because when I look at you know a six-day work week, which is typically my work week, I can't even speak today, six-day work week, which is typically my work week, and I take three days out and I still achieve pretty much just as much, then what am I doing wrong? So I think maybe this will help me improve in that manner. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna look at today and go, what are three things in work that I could do today that number one, are important for my business, number two, are gonna help me feel accomplished, and number three, are gonna help me feel you know, enjoyable uh, with my work. And I think of those three things, you could just have one big thing that's really important, and then two little things, or you could have three big things if you wanted to, but why not just pick one thing at work today that you can do, one big thing that you know if you get that done, It'll just make you feel accomplished. It'll make you feel content and happy because you've done it. And then you can move on to other projects from there. Just one thing and then two other little things that you can just tap on to the end of your day just to make you feel a little bit more accomplished. And then in your personal life, same again. What are three things that you could really do to make your day feel fantastic? To get to the end of the day and go, geez, I've really achieved a lot today. I've done something that I really loved and that's great. So my three things for today, like for example, could be Getting home, cooking a nice dinner, and sitting down with my kids, having dinner with my kids. That, to me, is something that I've really got to look forward to, and I do look forward to that. So that's one thing that I can do. Another thing is take care of my personal health. So do something for me. And that's been done already. I got up and did a 45-minute yoga routine. So that being been fantastic. And then number three, do something else. What else could I do today that would really make me feel accomplished? I'm a creative type and there's a creative project that I've been putting off, I'd really like to spend some time on that today as well. So I'm gonna dedicate half an hour, an hour to doing that. Now that might be during the day or it might be um, later this evening uh, once the kids are you know, away to bed. But I think if we can look at our day like that and just pick three things and really think about them, write them down, and then remove all distractions and just focus on one project at a time, we could accomplish a lot more while still having a great deal of balance. That's my thoughts for today. I'm gonna to sort of talk about this topic of productivity uh, going forward this week, I think. I think it's a topic that I'm very interested in right now um, and really trying to find that balance while still being productive is, is one of the challenges that I've got right now as well. So hope you've enjoyed that. Have a great and productive day ahead. I'll talk to you soon.